Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about four different driving modes that this uh, BMW 335i comes with. Uh, first, we'll go over uh, what BMW says, the difference between the modes, and then I'll tell you guys um, what I think the actual uh, difference are and how it actually feels when you drive. And that being said, let's hop on inside and get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, BMW 335i comes with uh, standard three different driving modes. If you do get the upgraded M Sport package, um, it does uh, come with the extra uh, driving mode, so a total of four. Um, and you can control uh, through those modes or you can switch through those modes using this button right here. It starts at Eco Pro first and then it goes up to um, uh, Comfort, then uh, Sport, and then the last one is a Sport Plus. All right, so let's dive into a little bit more detail on what those uh, modes, different driving modes mean and uh, uh, what are some of the main differences between the modes. Let's start with Eco Pro. So what BMW says about Eco Pro? So BMW says that the Eco Pro is more oriented for a fuel efficient driving style and you do see a big difference in uh, engine control and some comfort features including climate control like your AC um, and also on um, I, I believe on um, some of the automatic uh, uh, BMWs uh, if you're just coasting going downhill uh, it does go from uh, drive to neutral even even though you're on in drive um, and EcoPro is configurable that means that you can actually adjust what really affects and what it doesn't and now let's talk about how uh, Eco Pro actually feels. Um, it feels very sluggish. Uh, it feels like you're driving in a, a like a, a small four-cylinder engine. I'm not even sure why uh, um, someone would actually want to drive an Eco Pro unless you maybe about to run out of gas or something, and then you really need to get to the gas station and you don't have much gas left. So that's the only reason I can see. Otherwise, um, getting a, a car with over 300 horsepower and then putting on Eco Pro for me doesn't make sense. Maybe some of you guys watching do like the Eco Pro, and if that's the case, uh, you know, leave it in a comment and see why you really, really like it. But I personally do not uh, uh, recommend uh, driving an Eco Pro at all. It is pretty annoying. So now let's move on to uh, the comfort. All right, so this uh, uh, goes uh, was that saying the comfort is really for comfort oriented driving style. Um, it's, it, it actually is a default driving style so when you start the car it starts at comfort and I do like that um, um, uh, the reason being that uh, you know the engine is still uh, it's pretty responsive I do like the, the comfort mode and uh, I like how it, it actually starts in comfort mode uh, default now let's move on to uh, the sport mode <coughs> and sport mode is also configurable and the way I have it set up is that the uh, sport mode changes the steering feel, the throttle response, and also the suspension setup, right? Um, so the steering wheel in sport mode, uh, the way I have it set up is <clears throat> it gets a lot more heavier feel, um, so it's, it's a lot more uh, sporty oriented uh, uh, driving. Um, and also the throttle response is a much more punchier, so it's a lot more responsive. Once you hit the gas, it just, it, it goes. Um, and then the uh, this 335i comes with the adaptive suspension package so uh, the in the sport mode I have it configured to where um, the, <clears throat> the the suspension is, is a lot more dampened at that time right so um, and you can tell a difference uh, between the comfort and sport mode um, because of that the adaptive suspension package <clears throat> it makes a huge difference <clears throat> I think without the adaptive suspension package um, the, the the sport or the even the sport plus uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be honest um, because you do get the wobbly ride but if you do have the adaptive suspension package uh, the sport and sport plus uh, becomes a uh, just a whole different it just it changes the characteristics of this car uh, completely pretty much now let's move on to the um, sport plus and for that you have to press and hold well press and then press it again yes and then you go to uh, uh, sport plus so what sport plus is just uh, uh, 
it's it's pretty much sport but with a, a, a little less uh, a driving stabilization right so you get a little bit less assistance from the car and you have more control over the vehicle itself and uh, it's it, it, it is a good option if you do uh, you know um, a tractor car or uh, you know you just want to go out there and lose a little control um, it's, it's a pretty fun option ladies and gentlemen so these driving modes make a huge difference um, and this is one of the reasons that I actually chose this car um, the plan was uh, before buying this car is that I was gonna get it and then start modifying it right away like you know coilovers and exhaust and all that but once I start driving the car uh, it and I was like you know what I like how these driving modes the way it's set up um, um, it's so much more usable right I can I can enjoy the, the comfort mode and, and, and drive day uh, you know drive around daily you know potholes or bad roads doesn't really matter much it's just kind of like a floaty Cadillac type of feel but once you already have a little fun you can just uh, um, switch it up to a sport or sport plus and uh, the whole driving dynamics of the car is going to change and it just becomes a completely different car it's, it's super fun so that dual personality uh, that this these driving modes uh, give this car is one of my favorite parts and I think that's why I'm not gonna modify this for a little while and can enjoy it the way it is uh, but then I am itching for modifications so I will probably end up doing it anyways um, so that's it for uh, different driving modes of the BMW uh, let me know what driving modes that you like or do you even care for these modes at all and thanks for watching till the end and uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button thank you